out in the shed for a while, do some shed work, get, um, uh, uh, so I'm trying to spit it out. Get that flooring that's in Dad's studio and move it out to the shed and put it up on the shelves, and uh, so he can have more fun out there doing uh, painting and, and uh, making his uh, birdhouse stuff that he does in there. And, uh, so I'm uh, clear up the space. Um, I'm gonna put that extra uh, air conditioner out and put it in the closet and then use it when I. Hell, I'll just use it when I work in the shed today. <laughs> yeah, I'll just pour the water out. Okay, I'll just do that. Okay, um, uh, won't be out there too long, so I'll just use two, uh, two bottles of water worth. Uh, that's what I'll do. Open up both the doors and turn on the air. Yeah, make it more comfortable. <laughs> when I get out, I can sit down by the air conditioner. Um, uh, it's weird, man. Look at, watch this. See that thing right there? Look at it. Sometimes when you talk or different things, see how that does? The little blue light? <laughs> it's really weird, man. I let it load up. Can you see it, guys? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? The little white thing? The little, uh, we? Yeah. I sat there and let it connect to the internet, but none of it's supported. It's like uh, Facebook, I mean, not the Xbox um, 360. It's not supported. They don't support it anymore. They make it, and then they do this, and then if you want to get uh, indoctrinated and be part of the group indoctrination and, and stuff, you, you got to buy the newer stuff. So there, I've got um, two Xbox 360s and a Wii, but they're not supported. Okay. But it's it's... It gets, yeah. It has access. It says it's from Redmond, Washington, not Japan. Maybe there's Japanese people in Redmond, Washington. Guess us. I would imagine, yeah, I was going to say. My, grand, my aunt was from, Lace, was from Okinawa and then um, lived, lived and passed away in Lacey, Washington. So, yeah, I would imagine there's quite a few people of uh, Asian descent in Washington State. Yeah, it would, that wouldn't surprise me at all. As a matter of fact, I know there are quite a few. So, <laughs> just being obnoxious. <laughs> I'm good at that. There's a lot of people of Asian descent in uh, Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. Um, uh, hey, the other day that dude talking about Trump on uh, PBS, you know, well, he, yeah, he'll do this, and you can stay once you finish college, but you have to be from Northern Europe. You can't be from Asia, Mexico, or South, or Africa. It's like, um, don't don't you want the people educated how to mass murder in the United States to go back to Africa and Asia, and Mexico, so we can have really efficient, intelligent, creepy, fucked up enemies like you? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? How are we gonna get? Um, Eric Monkiller, if you don't send him back to Africa after we train him to be a complete uh, psychotic home invasion techno geek murderer like you. <laughs> what the, what the, what you, there's something really wrong here. <laughs> why are you not, you getting the program there? <laughs> See why you're on PBS NewsHour and not sitting here next to me? <laughs> it's funny. I know. Hey, look, the little lights are turning blue. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> See it? Look at her. Everybody say hi to Japan through red, red, red. Guys, you, say, you know what you guys are acting like? You're acting like those old um, uh, Superman cartoons with the Japatours, yeah, and all that shit. That's what you guys are after. And then the ones with the all the Charlie Chan ones with the German uh, infiltrators coming in to steal the poison and the torpedoes. To, that's what you guys act like. That's what you act like, right? <laughs> Giving your time away to your ego. Is the greatest enemy you ever have is the holy jihad, the struggle within. Okay, man, it's isn't it isn't it isn't it just inspiring that Muhammad's uh, explanations of proverbs and the Holy Quran that are still intact are far more superior and intelligent to any of you assholes. And there's another thing. Last night before I went to bed on PBS, you know, they had this thing with people in India, right? And I got to talk to the people of India. Okay. And so, because um, where we do still have, because Grandma said that, you know, you need doctrine. 
because not all people are the Messiah. So other people need doctrine to help guide them to who does things right and how they do them right. In doctrine, okay, all you people of India, because there are a lot of people in India, a lot of family, lot of, um, people we love, you know, Sanjay and Sanjay and um, Rumi and, you know, Rumi at work, uh, but not, it, it's Southwest Airlines, not Rumi, the Rumi Rumi, but the Rumi too, you know, <laughs> okay, but um, uh, he's named after Rumi, um, but, uh, um, uh, you know, lots of people that we love, the Patels, you know, lots of people we love through life, you know, the friends, family and stuff, and so, um, uh, <laughs> I had a crush on the Patel girls in high school, yeah, they were pretty, uh, and, uh, but, um, Let's spit this out. But uh, guys, where in the doctrine? Okay. Does it say, okay, to kill other people over your religious beliefs? Where does Krishna say that? Where does Buddha say that? Krishna, especially Krishna, very muy important. Krishna does not say that. Says it's wrong to kill other people over your religious beliefs. Okay. So... Jesus, um, Muhammad, okay, and uh, you know the the Christians, the Muslim, and the and who else is that we can include in this? Nanuk Div, okay. Do you understand? So, there's there, none of them say you you have to kill people of your religious beliefs. They say you have to protect people from people that will kill you over their religious beliefs. But none of them say you kill people over your religious beliefs. None of them. Not one of the doctrines. Okay, so. When your stuff gets turned into fairy tales, do you murder people over fairy tales? Well, in your case, yes. You vote for politicians that use money to get you to murder each other, fairy tales and stuff like that. And so when they talked you into years ago, turning cows into sacred creatures, because cows are easily herded and cultivated and can be used to mass feed the poor. And the wealthy always want to manage the poor's population by killing them off. They gave you fairy tales and mythology, and you use it to continue to mass murder to try to please the devil because the devil's always watching through satellite surveillance, past, present, and future operations at the same time. Do you understand, dear India? Okay. I, I'm like Judah Krishnamurti. I explain things a lot, them there better. Them, them, their people in them universities that come around to dip, 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 tell you what to do with money and technology and them satellite surveillance things and dip, 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 later the lights in your room, you know what I'm saying there? Because <laughs> I'm everybody dip, 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 good at that. And I hope a lot of you people in India understand, you know, you like my southern accent? We like your, uh, uh, we, we like your accents, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I still have a huge crush on Pooja you know, from uh, Dolchata, hey? Anybody else? Any of you guys mad? Hey, you guys all got questions on Taylor Swift and Jennifer Lopez and Beyonce, so I don't want to fucking hear it. Okay? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Okay? If you can do it, she can do it too. Okay? I'm pretty sure Pooja would be more interested in uh, being in a physical sexual relationship with the man that saves children from sexual human trafficking than a bunch of assholes trying to make money off of killing people because of fairy tales. Okay? Anybody want a double bacon cheeseburger? Okay. <laughs> Muslims won't eat double bacon cheeseburgers. Christians will. Okay. Um, would you let your fairy tale self righteousness murder your neighbor and starve your own children? The answer is yes. India is a beautiful country if it wasn't for all the Indians. Okay? Now, you have a fantasy fairy tale you call religion. You're hanging from a crypt and you're playing to your make believe God for help. What did you, Krishnamurti, say about that? Have faith and jump. Okay. <laughs> like he told me that day I was worried about dying from cancer and poisoning here. He said, if you're so worried about that and how they're going to treat you and if they're going to give you drugs to be comfortable to die, just go up to that uh, radio tower in the back of the house and it's 60 feet high and then just dive off down and kill yourself. I was like, you're he's genius. Right? So I don't worry about that. I don't worry about being murdered. I don't worry about being tortured. It's uncomfortable. I'm not afraid. Um, I'm not St. Anthony, okay? And I'm not a propaganda movie endorsed by the Vatican. I'm a man who teaches people how to be human beings again and appreciate the gift and the glory of the soul. And Mrs. Uh, uh, Martinez the other day, when I was leaving, she sat there, word of mouth, it works. 
She got it from her people in her church and her pastor. She, I said, really? famous people? She goes, yeah, famous people are pathetic. They make lots of money pretending to be something they're not. Yeah, I wonder who, 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 who says that to people. Uh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay. 